<laughs> Maybe next time. Interesting. I was thinking catfish, but now I'm kind of questioning myself. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll go with the catfish. That sounds good. Okay, we got got dinner. Got my catfish. And I am just about ready to head across the street to Walmart and go home for the day. <laughs> How about that? Go home to Walmart, y'all. Well, hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to the next edition of Hillbilly Camping with Leo. <laughs> Welcome to Casa de leo we are as y'all know uh i always i try to bring y'all some weird little adventures you know go to unique places and things and you know i might be camping one time on top of a mountain in the snow or down by the river or who knows where right who knows where well today we are camping at walmart you heard me right you did not stutter we are camping at walmart now, it is a cold blustery day a little bit of wind not too bad a little bit of wind blowing it's wet damp it's been raining we've had light wintry mix all day today so yeah perfect day to go camping right <laughs> well that's what we're doing uh, <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Walmart will allow you, if you're self-contained, to spend the night on their lot. That's what these two guys right here are doing, as a matter of fact. They're, they're doing the same thing. Typically, it's like tractor trailers, stuff like that, bigger things. You know, they'll let you spend the night, and, you know, you can use their Wi-Fi. You have access to their bathrooms, all that stuff, you know. And, and of course, their deli, you know. You've got all the food you could possibly ask for. It's Walmart you know but uh anyway uh we're gonna take them up on their offer <laughs> i'm gonna camp here tonight uh for those of you who know i've been working on my truck quite a bit the last week or so i've done quite a bit of work to it back in here i set me up a, a little camp area got me a little bed heating system and i have pretty much everything i should need to be completely self-contained and warm in my little castle and uh this also it's a it's a test run as well you know trying out some of this new stuff and just see how it does you know really cold weather that kind of thing and it just sounded like a whole lot of fun let's just be honest right who gets to camp at walmart who in their right mind Okay, let me rephrase that. <laughs> now, let's just go with it. Who in their right mind camps at Walmart? <laughs> let's just go with it. You know, let's just be real, right? Who camps at Walmart? Well, Leo. Leo might. Leo might might do that. He might take you up on your offer. And if y'all don't subscribe, I might come and camp out in your yard, too. So... <laughs> I'll <laughs> be sure you subscribe. <laughs> you don't want me camping in your yard now. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna run in here. I'm gonna I gotta pick up a couple little things since you know it's Walmart, right? But <laughs> I wanna pick up some stain while I'm at it, you know, to stain my little setup here, my bed frame and table and all that, make it all pretty. And I got one little drip right there in the corner, right about there. So I'm gonna get me some silicon. I went ahead and painted got everything looks good don't it for an old 20 year old truck and the camper's about that old the paints wore off the top of it uh, he ain't he ain't no young pup either so now you can see where's the clear coat but anyway she'll work uh, i've got her modified got my little 
got set up right there so I can mount my heater later. But uh, we won't be doing that till a little bit later. It's supposed to be about 29 tonight. Just in case anybody's curious, we're expecting about 29 Fahrenheit. So just a hair below freezing. Uh, we should have a we should have a nice frost when I get up in the morning. We should have a nice frost out here. But uh, like I said, I've got my heat, so I should be good to go. Got my diesel heater. I've got my buddy heater, and I've got my little portable uh, my little tent heater that I made. It's a wax, paraffin wax burning little heater. And for something like this, I'm sure it would be more than sufficient. Uh, I've used it in small tents, you know, without a fiberglass shell. So, you know, I'm sure it would do well too. But, uh, yeah, we're going to, I brought some toys. But, yeah, you've got Hulu and everything else as far as that goes. But, yeah, I got the laptop and I'm going to hook it all up and uh, see if I can't turn this thing into a, the back of my truck into a home theater as well why not right <laughs> why not <laughs> why not inspector gadget everything to death why not but yeah it's trying to trying to snow a little bit here kind of a sleet bouncing off your face kind of thing but anyway i guess i may as well go on in i've got uh, a couple things to pick up at walmart they're nice enough to let me camp here i you know we'll shop here right that's that's fair that's fair and uh, go in take up a couple things i'm gonna pick me up some snacks for later too and uh come back out and it should be getting dark here a few hours a couple hours something like that and i guess come on back out and we'll kick back and relax and i've got it set up for lounging you know you can't really stand you know in any truck camper you know you can't really stand but uh i rigged me up a little seat kind of like a little desk so i should be able to sit at my little desk or lounge in my little bed or whatever and watch tv play with the computer and just make a trip out of it right try to have some fun with it a bunch of geese somebody should tell them they're going the wrong way that's north, that's not south. They're going the wrong way. <laughs> that one lead goose, I don't think he knows what he's doing. <laughs> anyway, it's about, uh, it's almost five. Should be getting dark here in about 30 minutes. It should be getting dark on me. Which I don't think I'll need much light. I'm right under the street light right there. And there's one over here too, and one there, and one over there, and one over there. So <laughs> I don't one over there. No, I don't think I don't think light is going to be a really big issue. But I've got plenty with me just in case. Uh, I'm thinking it's going to be a cramped little fit, but I think we can pull it off. I've got a plan anyway. I've got a plan. Don't think I'll need to hatch it. Or any of that stuff. I think we're good. I think. So, I guess without further ado, it's time to climb in there. See just how much room we can finagle. Um, I'm trying to find just the right, like a low bench seat. Or beach chair, a low one. You know, to fit right here. You know, you can kind of swivel it. You know, look out the window or watch TV, work at your little desk, you know, all this good stuff. But uh, for now, I don't have one. I brought uh, a box of Duraflame logs to sit on. <laughs> so my seat tonight is going to be a bunch of Duraflame logs, uh, the box. And then I've got my, of course, I got my bed, you know, lounge on, watch TV, all this kind of stuff, watch the world go by. And a couple people up there, they're having trouble with their car. They're up there actually, they're working on it. And it sounds bad. Every now and then they'll crank it and it sounds really bad. But there's somebody walking her dog. <laughs> well, I guess I'm gonna be the weird guy and climb in the back of my truck at Walmart and do me a fish fry. Well, so far so good. A little bit of a echo, 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 echo. <laughs> I've got uh, 
But so far, we're, we're set up. I should have me a nice dinner. Got my catfish, got me some salad, and got me some potato wedges, and some funyuns, and I got me a chocolate parfait for dessert. And I got some couple candy bars and, you know, a little bit of junk like that too. But uh, getting ready to start on my catfish. I made me uh, some dry rub at the house before I left. It's a lot of heavy lemon pepper and a few other little oddball things. You know how it is. But uh, I guess I'm going to go ahead here in a second and get my pan heated up and get some dinner going. There's somebody out there walking their dog. <laughs> <laughs> this is wild man sitting outside Walmart I know y'all can't see too well through that glass but just sitting outside Walmart's parking lot just kind of hanging out getting ready to fry some fish isn't that what everybody does <laughs> cool but I, as a little candle I was telling you about I made that uh, made it years ago for my little small tent and you know, a little four-man tent. You know that right there will that'll keep just a four-man tent pretty warm. It's a it's a cookie tent, and uh, I got it filled with paraffin wax and six big fat wicks, and it works really good. It puts out a lot of heat, and I've used this thing for many many years. It's probably got oh lord, it's got a hundred camping trips under its belt. And uh, I filled it. I think that's the second or third time that I filled it. And it just, it lasts forever. You know, you can just sit it down and just, it'll put out heat for hours and hours and hours and hours. I've had that thing, like I said, many, many times. And you can refill it for next to nothing. I mean, it's like 15 bucks worth of uh, paraffin wax. You just melt it down, and hang your white, hang your wicks with pencils or something, and pour the hot wax in there. Let it sit. You're done. Simple as that. But uh, I brought me some. Dasani did not start making cooking oil. Uh, <laughs> I put a little bit of cooking oil in here in a Dasani bottle, so I'd have some, and got some seasonings. Heather got me that for Christmas. A little bit of everything in there. So I guess. I'm going to shut my camera down here. I'm going to go ahead and shake my catfish, get get it battered up, and get my pan hot, and get ready to fix a really, really, really abnormally good dinner here in Walmart's parking lot. <laughs> I hear somebody backing up. I hear something beeping. <laughs> this is wild, man. This is totally wild. Sitting outside like Walmart. I've got everything, you know, I got my computer and got Wi-Fi. Everything you could possibly want. You know, all good to go. Turn on. Thank you. Thank you. But uh anyway, alright, I'm gonna uh I'll bring y'all along, show you. I'm gonna try to make some really pretty catfish. We'll see how it goes. I'm usually a pretty good cook. Uh, Y'all, you know, seen some of the stuff, some of my little dishes, so I'm going to try to make some really good homemade catfish fillets. I even made my own mix. <laughs> uh, Alright, we'll see you guys in a few minutes. We'll get to cooking. How cold does that look? It just looks really nice in here. I mean, the atmosphere is really cool. It's warming up. Just a little candle heater is warming up really nice and I'd imagine when I get that going it's gonna warm up even more I'll probably have to crack a window or something but we'll see we'll have fun we're gonna mosey along uh, I think they close at 11 so I believe I'll probably wait till they till a little bit later I don't need a heater yet the uh, diesel heater it mounts on the outside of the truck bed out there and then the heater hose comes in right there so I'll wait till a little bit later and uh, hook up my heater. Not a big deal. I just don't want to attract a whole lot of attention just yet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, let's fix some fish. We'll see you guys in a minute. 
That is smelling good. And I may have snuck a bite or two already. Look at that. Steamy. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, that's good. That is delicious. Hmm. My window's all fogged up. All right, we'll hook that diesel heater up in a little while. It'll dry everything out real good in here. Got my window. Had to crack my window a little bit. Getting a little bit warm in here. The candle going and the stove, it's a little bit too hot. And then crack a window, let some heat out. Or cold in, depending on your point of view, I guess. But Walmart street lights just turned on. So we're good outside we got plenty of light out there and i'm good in here and i brought spares with me all kinds of little gadgets to play with tonight it may not look it i got stuff stuffed back under there and under there and under back there and yeah i, did, I brought toys y'all know me i like to have toys to keep occupied something to do something to play with Look at that, how good that's looking. That is really pretty. See, that looks almost done. With a little thin piece. I just broke it off. You can, I may have, may have accidentally eaten the crust off of that center one. It was an accident, y'all. I didn't mean to do it. But, look at that accident. Mm -hmm. mm. That is finger licking good right there. <laughs> Somebody should tell the colonel about this. That finger licking good right there. <laughs> I think this little pin piece should just about be done. Give him another minute or so. I like, I like it crispy on the outside. <clears throat> yeah, working real good. Cooking right along, isn't it? Gonna heat up just a hair. like can't take my eyes off the catfish man i'm just <laughs> eagerly waiting i'm starving to death i haven't eaten much today that one little snack before i left the house i wouldn't be starved to death and here we are starved to death won't be long though will it won't be long now be glad i get me a better seat too Duraflame log box works. It's the right height. And I got headroom in here. Still got plenty of room. Wow, that is really damp. Look at that. Hmm. That's all right. Diesel heater, like I said, diesel heater dry everything out real good. Long as the bed's wet, long as the bed's dry, I'm happy. Yeah, we should be good. Here in a little while, I brought me some pillows. I'll lounge around a little bit, set me up something really cool. And I'm gonna hang my, I've got a, it's a small projector screen. I'm gonna hang it over the back window there and uh, see if I can't turn that whole back window into a great big, big screen TV. <laughs> Why not, right? Why not? Something to play with. But yeah, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. I can see outside and nice and warm in here. You know, a little bit sweaty on the windows, but like I said, we'll fix that a little bit later. As soon as I turn this off, actually, it'd probably stop. Of course, I guess me breathing in here is probably contributing some, but not all that much. A lot of condensation in here. Uh, that diesel heater, like I said, once I hook that diesel heater up in a couple more hours, it'll dry everything out real good in no time. All right, I guess I need to check my fish. 
Nice. It looks like a piece or two is ready to come out. Let's see here. Look at that crispy little devil. Mm-hmm. Middle one's trying to stick. He's right over the heat. There we go. Oh, look at that. Old and brown. No doubt. That looks really good. Look at that. That is really pretty, isn't it? Looking like dinner real soon. I got me one little piece. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> Sitting there waiting on dinner, starving to death. I'm gonna have to hook that thing up. Battery's getting a little bit weak. It's all right, we got plenty. I brought plenty of USB and I've got my somewhere in here and I've got my big battery there for the diesel heater under that table and I've got my other ones back here to hook up you know cameras and little things like that cell phones cameras USB junk seems like I'm I'm perpetually charging some kind of battery you know non-stop but yeah that looks really good now I'm gonna close my Close my window. Getting a little bit chilly on my back. Ooh, it's wet out there, y'all. It's very wet. Very cold. Not bad, huh? Now I'm trying to get the light right. Sorry. Not too shabby, huh? Looking pretty good. I may say so myself. I don't see why not. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm, it looks good, don't it? Little catfish bite. Mm-hmm. Very good. Very good. Just about time to take it out. I want to get it good and crispy first. Well done. Big thick one there. really good don't it that absolutely looks delicious and sizzling its little fish heart out in it it's little bits of pepper and spices and junk and I tried to make it pretty of course it did you know catfish tends to fall apart a little bit when you cook it but oh well it still looks pretty. Okay, it's just about that time. I am getting really sick of waiting, I'll just tell you that. <laughs> yeah, my neighbor's over there, the other tractor trailer just fired up a generator a minute ago. Uh, that's okay, I'll be making some noise later too. Alright, I guess I'm going to shut my camera off and finish up my fish and take it up. Get my kitchen put away. 
I've got to put all this stuff away here in a minute and make some room to lounge around, get comfy. Well, guys, what do y'all think? Not too shabby for the back of a pickup truck at Walmart, is it? <laughs> That is not bad at all. If I may say so myself, that that looks really, really good. And the catfish is awesome, guys. I kid you not. Look at that crunchy little devil. Look at that. Hang on, hang on. Ready? Hang on. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, <laughs> plenty of lemon and pepper, really good. Got me some tater wedges. One in Walmart got me some tater wedges and salad. Got me a little parfait chocolate. We're just gonna sit down and have us an awesome dinner in Walmart. And not too shabby, is it, for the back of a pickup truck sitting in a parking lot? That is not a bad dinner, if I may say so. <laughs> Yeah, that I dread. Clean up. Nah, boo. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get off here, guys, and have me some dinner. Looking forward to this. Now, look at that steam. Look at that. Awesome little bite. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Just as crunchy as you want it to be. I'm looking forward to this. That cheese carrots and ham and all kinds of junk in the salad uh, all right i'm gonna get off here and make like a pig for real see y'all in a minute i'm starving to death <laughs> well she's a getting dark now ain't it about seven o'clock something like that this kind of came out to get my dinner stuff you know the pan out of the way oily pan and plate and stuff like that kind of cleaned it up put it up front out of the way and kind of setting up for evening mode you know took it out of kitchen mode and we're going to hit living room mode for a while and then hit bedroom mode a little bit later uh, <laughs> right now i'm gonna here in a minute i'm gonna shut my light down i'll go ahead and kill it now i guess a little remote for it kill my light i'm gonna run in and uh go ahead and hit the bathroom you know before it gets late that kind of thing and uh come back out and i believe i'm gonna go ahead and mount my heater go ahead and get my heater in place and get it turned on and uh get out of my coveralls and relax and just chill out and watch some tv that sounds pretty good don't it it's still trying to flurry just a little bit not bad but just just enough to say it's trying little tiny bit of rain here and there a little bit of snow mixed in but all right we're gonna head on in here and run to the bathroom real quick and uh can't think of anything else i need while i'm in there i can't think of anything anyway but yeah my little hovel's actually pretty nice man it's a little bit cramped in there but hey if you got i got enough room it's enough for me uh, i don't know about having you know guests over or anything like that but <laughs> just me it's plenty big enough so yeah i'm calling that test so far a, a huge success you know very comfortable now, I already know my heater works great, you know, keeps it nice and warm. So, when I come back out, I guess I'll go ahead and hook it up and get ready for the night. I bet I stand out, that light back in there. And, hey, there's somebody in that truck cooking. <laughs> oh, well. Like I said, you don't have to be weird to be my friend, but it helps. <laughs> All right, I guess I'm going to shut the camera down. Either shut the camera down or, you know, take y'all in the bathroom with me. So I guess we'll opt for shutting the camera down this time. <laughs> well, check this out. I'm on Walmart's Wi-Fi. 
<laughs> uh, came back out and I got my heater. Got my heater set up. He's working. Warming up in here. Still got, still got, I don't know if y'all can see the condensation. A little bit here and there. Not as bad as it was. That heater dries it out pretty quick. But I still yet got a little bit of condensation on the ceiling. So I can't, I can't do my big screen. I was going to do my projector, but I've got stick on things that go right there. And where the, the top is still got a lot of condensation, it's wet. I don't think they're going to stick to it right now. So I may just hold off on that and do that. Either do it later or later tonight or maybe attempt it later. But I don't think right now it's going to work. I think if I tried to use my little stick-on hooks, I believe I'd just waste a couple stick-on hooks. So we'll try that a little bit later, I guess. And I'm all comfy. I'm in my little bed. Got all kinds of room, you know. As long as you're laying down anyway, you've got plenty of room back here. Plenty of room to lounge and, you know, just watch TV and all this good stuff. And it's warming up. Uh, it's not warm yet, but we're getting there pretty quick. Uh, it's real close to freezing. It's just a few degrees above outside. But it's warming up quick in here. Uh, I've only had it on for uh, maybe 10 minutes, something like that. I had the heat on. Uh, you know, just kind of just letting it warm up for now before I take my coveralls off. I'm still, I don't know if y'all can see or not, but I'm still in my hair. Hang on. Now. Still in my coveralls. Man, it's bright. <laughs> but uh, just kind of kick back a little bit, relaxing. And uh, pull me a pillow up or two. And relax and watch a movie. And uh, I, I may get on YouTube. Say hi to y'all. What do you think about that? I'm doing videos and get on YouTube. Never done that before. Never really camp. Usually where I camp, there's no Wi-Fi. You know, there's usually, typically speaking, there's no cell service of any kind. <laughs> you know, so this is this is unique here. You know, I have an internet and Wi-Fi, you know. Uh, cell service, one thing. You know, I use a phone sometimes. I'll, you know, if you've got cell service, you can Bluetooth it. You know, uh, use the, or the hotspot, I mean, on the phone. And Wi-Fi it to your laptop or something. But... I don't have to do that this time. I've got Wi-Fi. But yeah, we're just kind of relaxing. What do I do with my remote? I think I lost my remote. There it is. Hang on, hang on. That's better. That's better. It looks like a party in here now. <laughs> I bet this looks wild from outside. You know, some dude up Walmart parking lot in a truck. Got a diesel heater on it. And lights all flashing in there it looks like a party <laughs> it probably does look like a party from outside all right let's pick us a movie out i've got wi-fi but heather loaded she loaded a few and uh left disney open so far as that goes you know i could go on disney and watch you know watch avengers if i want to but uh yeah so this should be pretty cool this should be pretty cool here soon a few minutes i'll go ahead and as soon as it warms up i'm gonna let it get a little bit warmer i'll go ahead and peel shoes and coveralls and all that stuff and just kind of relax watch a little tv for a while at walmart <laughs> this is so wild man camping at walmart i can hear the rain too i hear a little bit of rain on my roof hopefully my little panel hopefully it don't rain that much because i've got a leak right there uh, we'll fix him soon as it dries out but we can't fix it tonight can we according to the weatherman it was supposed to stop this stuff about three o'clock this afternoon but i think he's lying to me i think a weatherman has lied <laughs> hi baby say hi to everybody Heather <laughs> hi everybody <laughs> not very 
discreet. I can see you. Yeah, no, I, I'm not exactly the most discreet person around usually. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm the editor, so I'll see you. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Guys, what do y'all think? Got my little light set up. Heater. Got plenty of room. Over there, I can jump up if I want to. Like I said, got my light. Plenty bright in here. I can see really well. You know, all the way around. But I've got me a movie loaded up. This one's called Arctic Void. It says it's a, a survival horror. So we'll see. Sound sounds interesting. You know, I, I like that kind of stuff. You know, something a little bit of adventure to it, that sort of thing. But uh yeah, it's nice and warm in here. Uh very snuggly. I'm in my bag, but it's actually a little bit warm for that. I think I'll crawl out of that for a minute. But yeah, it's very nice in here, very warm. I just ran out and uh, ran into the bathroom real quick. It's about nine o'clock, eight forty, eight forty-five, eight forty-four. Uh, I went in, you know, run in, use the bathroom. I've still got a couple hours till they close, and after that, there ain't no bathroom till daylight. So yeah, you gotta gotta be careful with the coffee. Don't be getting carried away with your drinking. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so far I ain't even got, you know, I just got this one little little light here on and that one back there. And just those two little lights are they're doing real good. It's very bright in here. You can see real good. See well enough to video even. Oh so, yeah, very comfortable. Uh you don't have a whole lot of headroom. You can't jump up and down. I'll just say that. But other than that, you know, it's very comfortable, very warm. Uh, actually, I probably need to turn that vent away from me. It's getting a little bit warm on my feet. I had it turned that way to, you know, kind of, there's a little crack around the tailgate. So I got it kind of turned, you know, pointing down that direction. But to tell you the truth, my feet getting kind of warm. So I believe I'm going to have to turn it and have it blow upward maybe. All the condensation seems to be gone. I don't see very little tiny bit right there. But she's pretty much dried out now. All the humidity's gone. And you can see out the windows again. It's cool though, isn't it? You can see in here tonight, uh, my windows are tinted. Uh, tinted from the outside and if you're looking from the outside all you see is dark glass but if you're inside and you've got lights on then you can see in here so I don't have any curtains or anything but I don't care once I turn the lights out you can't see in here anymore so uh, I figure we're good uh, nobody's asked nobody's even questioned you know, the weird pickup truck sitting in the parking lot with a diesel heater hanging off the side of it. So, so far so good. No one's even questioned it, you know. Uh, I've went in the store a couple times, you know. Went in earlier to get some snacks and went back for the bathroom run. And, uh, yeah, so far so good. Everything's going really well and very comfortable, very relaxing. Uh truck camper a little bit hard to get used to I'm, I'm used to a big tent you know I'm used to having used to having room to move you know stand up jump around do jumping jacks if you want to uh, I'm not real used to this small confined you know truck camper but then again it's it's a lot easier to heat you know it's a lot easier to heat this cabin than it is a tent you know this Fiberglass holds heat really well. Guess that's probably why they make insulation with the stuff, huh? But yeah, all so far so good. Everything's going really well. I'm very much, very much enjoying my little evening. Uh, had the computer, I had the Wi-Fi. I jumped on Walmart's Wi-Fi. I was going to try to upload some pictures and junk, but 
says that the aspect ratio is too big so I'll figure that one out later I got it to go up on the camping channel and then tried to put one up on the big channel and it wouldn't go uh, oh well guys this is this is really cool uh, I'm just kind of hanging out you know I got my got my light rigged though the little sticky things work really good uh, I guess I probably could put them up there and put the projector screen up now but it's 11 o'clock uh, I don't think I'm gonna mess with them I still ain't got all the way through uh, that second movie called it's called moon crash it's you know sci-fi kind of thing it's okay fair fair but uh, check this out it's a uh, 36 outside and 70 inside here and that is on its lowest lowest possible setting the the heater uh it's like on one and goes up to 13 or something <laughs> and i've got it on one but uh i brought my little <laughs> my little like carbon dioxide or monoxide dioxide whatever something or other detector <laughs> probably both i guess i don't know <laughs> anyhow uh the exhaust is actually outside but heather makes me bring it <laughs> she insists that i bring the little detector but you know the exhaust is all outside it can't you know there's nothing coming in but warm air right there uh, uh, it's really nice man it feels good in here i've every now and then been opening opening the slide out it's over here you know just kind of let a little bit of cool air in for a little while that's my view out this window uh there are oh, y'all see the tractor trailer there and one over there the red one so i've got two two other guests staying here tonight two other walmart guests hanging out here on the parking lot there was another one there was another one right there but uh he, he left a little while ago it's just us now three campers <laughs> this is weird isn't it the tractor trailer stand out here and leo right in the middle of it <laughs> thank y'all thank you youtube <laughs> thank you this is fun I wouldn't get to do this junk if it wasn't for y'all. <laughs> Hang on, let me get back over here. Let me get down in my little cubby hole here. In case you need to like stretch stretch out or whatever, I got me a little cubby hole you can kind of get down in, have a seat, you know, cook or whatever. Not uh, still picking at my salad. We mentioned that, Heather mentioned it. It's like four or five hours you've opened it now, so. I think salad probably still good. We'll pick at him a little bit more. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> but haven't even opened the rest of it. Got my little coffee set up for in the morning. Got everything ready to go so I can heat my coffee up in the morning. And uh, Believe it or not, guys, I have a Walmart pickup in the morning at 8 o'clock. <laughs> So when I get up in the morning, uh, I'll get up and, you know, get, get semi-situated. You know, there ain't a whole lot to straighten up back here. There ain't a whole lot to do. But I'll get semi-straightened up and then I'll pull right over there and park again. <laughs> and call Walmart and have them, have them bring my order out to me. <laughs> this is cool. This is really cool, man. I'm enjoying this. The only thing I don't like about it is you cannot stand up. That's the only that's the only flaw that I have, you know, with that this setup has is the simple fact that you can't, you know, just stand up. Uh you know, you can it's very comfy and all that stuff, you know. But at warm, obviously, seventy 71.8 right now and reading 36 outside i noticed i did notice this a second ago hang on it says 
It says 34 outside. So we'll say the 34, 36, somewhere, somewhere in that ballpark. It's just a little bit above freezing. And we're supposed to go a little bit below freezing sometime tonight. Uh, tomorrow's supposed to be warm. It's supposed to be like 50 tomorrow. So, you know, it's spring day, right? For for middle of January. That's that's a warm day here, you know? But, yeah. Anyway, what I say, man, this is, this is really comfortable. You know, I, I'm really just snug as a bug in here. We had a, hang on, let me get over here. Had another, another guest check in to Walmart campground for the night. He just rolled in a minute ago. <laughs> I bet he freaked out seeing the pickup truck sitting there with lights on and the dude rolling around in the back of it. <laughs> oh man, this is cool. Life is weird, guys. Life is weird. You know, that, what do you got to do to wind up doing something like this for a living? <laughs> Life is weird. It's cool, but it's weird. <laughs> Get back over here in my comfy spot. Ah, yeah, that's better. I didn't even really need half of that junk I went ahead and got it out just in case I wanted it you know my little lantern got my little I just love that little thing that little fire maple lantern I think it's just cute as a butt man <laughs> it puts out good light you know a little, little flame you know I prefer a flame to you know LEDs that sort of thing but in here the, it works really well the LED just reflects off all this fresh new paint really well and uh, just lights up the whole ceiling uh, hang on hang on now there we go now it's a party up in here yeah now <laughs> now it's a party y'all <laughs> that's more like it <laughs> I bet that looks pretty cool from outside too. <laughs> the back of the truck just lighting up. I bet that looks pretty cool. Or pretty crazy or pretty something. <laughs> there we go. I think it works pretty good like that. I got him hooked into a little power pack. Just to make sure it's got a really small battery in it. I like the light but it don't stay charged very long. It don't hold a charge long, so I just plug it into a power pack and just hang him right up there, just a little hook. It worked like a charm, didn't it? That way, wire going that way. Hmm. Well, yeah, this is all right, man. I like this. Uh, tell you the truth, I'm wide awake. <laughs> I'm having fun, man. Uh, you know, it's pretty but pretty desolate out there now. I would imagine. Let's see. We can see anything through. Oh, where's the button? There it is. Can't really see much that way. You're looking through three the windshield, back glass in the truck, and the glass in the camper too. Can't really see much through all three of them. You can tell there's light out there, but that's about it. I don't see but just a handful of cars. I don't see any out there. And just the trucks. The two track, or tr well, three now, tractor trailers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cars. That's the least cars I've seen here since this place was open that I know of. Of course, I'm never really up here. You know, <laughs> once it gets dark, I guess I've been pretty much in, I suppose. You know, get my Walmart shopping done before it gets dark, I guess. Never really thought about it. But I guess they 
been closing for what since 2020 something you know something like that since you know covid uh so never really even thought about it till just a couple days ago hey yeah they they close at 11 don't they <laughs> Well, guys, it's about 11.30, and I tried, but I couldn't make it through that last movie. <laughs> I'm tired. Uh, I just called Heather, told her good night, and I believe I'm going to call tonight myself. Good night, everybody. We'll see y'all in the morning. morning uh, good morning how'd everybody sleep last night hope y'all slept pretty good <laughs> tell you the truth I tossed and turned a little bit I don't know why I woke up four or five times last night just kind of rolling around I suppose I don't know why it's very comfortable very warm had to I like to sleep, you know, a little bit colder than uh, 75. <laughs> so I went to bed last night. I, I opened my window. Uh, got it down to 61 in here. You know, good enough to sleep in. But uh, I've got the heater all the way down. He won't go any lower. He, he did good, though. He whipped that cold weather last night real good. Like I said, I had to leave a, had to leave a window cracked. Uh, let's see how the neighbors are doing this morning. <laughs> hey, they're leaving. There goes that one guy. V3 truck, he's pulling out. They're all gone. I'm the last one. Imagine that. 8.30, I'm the last one to check out. No, ain't there's one more over there, a mail truck mail truck right over at the park on the corner a big tractor trailer he must have just been waiting for daylight he rolled in late just as soon as it got daylight he was gone and he on a schedule or something but yeah anyway that's pretty nice though man I like it Nice little setup. Should be able to, you know, pack up and be ready to go in about 10 minutes. All I gotta do, uh, pull the diesel heater off the side, throw him back in here somewhere out of the way, take off. That's about it, really. I'm gonna go here in a minute and go pick up my Walmart order over there. Ain't no frost on the windshield. It must be a hair above. It must be 33 or better. Because I don't see no frost outside. Weatherman full of crap, ain't he? Again. <laughs> That's okay, though. Uh, we didn't need to freeze to death. Not really. <laughs> Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna, here in a minute, I'm gonna get up, get my shoes and socks back on, and uh, I guess go pull the diesel heater down. That's all right, though, man. That's really easy. Just that one little thing. You ain't got no tent to tear down or no campsite to mess with. Just pull the heater off the side and leave. Well, pretty nice. I'm not used to that. I'm used to when I get up in the morning, you know, after breakfast, there's a solid hour <laughs> of packing up and getting ready, so this is going to be all right, you know, have everything in about five minutes, maybe, uh, yeah, probably about five minutes, just got to take that one bolt loose right there, pull it off, that's all you got to do, put the bolt back, you know, tighten the bolt back up. You don't have to take it all the way off. Just loosen it up just a little bit. Just enough to pull the pins out. <laughs> Alright, guys. 
Yes, I'm gonna get up. Get up, get dressed. Do I look comfy or what? Here, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, second pillow. It's a two pillow kind of night. Do I look comfy? I think I feel like I look pretty cozy. <laughs> well, I went to the uh, campground bathroom. And <laughs> I was wondering while I was in the bathroom. That saying, peeing like a Russian racehorse. Do Russian racehorses pee that much? I find it hard to believe that a Russian racehorse could pee more than an American racehorse. I find that hard to believe. Either way, neither here nor there. <laughs> uh, got four neighbors now. Four of them just pulled in. You know, I guess they're here for the day. I'm, I'm not really sure what they're doing. But I guess my little camping trip, when I push this button, it's officially over. The heat's off and it's time to take it down and put it in there and load up well load up that not really much to load but all right here we go stop heating stop heating my heater told me it was going to stop heating here in a minute it takes it a minute to cool off it has to blow all the heat out of the heater out of the burner so it, they'll melt down if you don't let them cool right because it generates more heat than the plastic can actually take without the turbine <laughs> blowing and when you shut it off you have to wait and let it cool down it's still blowing the hot air out of the chamber and when it gets done it'll tell you uh, it says uh, enjoy your trip or something like that something to that effect but uh, it takes a few minutes to cool off but soon as she does We'll pull it off, put the heater right there, pull over to the other side of the parking lot, <laughs> and pick up my groceries. <laughs> no, this was really just picking up some groceries. That's all this really was. Yeah, that's. I came over to camp so that I could, you know, be convenient to pick up my groceries. <laughs> It almost sounds plausible. Almost. <laughs> well. Come on, Hater. Let's go. Let's go. You're holding me up here. <laughs> Are you still warm? Oh, yeah. It's still blowing hot air. It'll be another minute or so. Handy little gadget, ain't it? Very handy little gadget. I like that thing, man. It was on one, and it goes up to I think 13 is the highest setting on it. Oh, it's 18 potential 18,000 BTUs at max. I think I was probably running two or three, if that, and had the window open. Then I had to crack my window. You know, because it's getting too warm. It's too hot to sleep back there, you know. Which I, I guess you could, you know, just no blankets or nothing like that. But I don't know. I would rather have it like 60 degrees. And, you know, a warm, comfy blanket, you know, that sort of thing. Got me a little mess to clean up, too, when I get home, don't I? That's all right. When I get home, I got my stain today. And it's supposed to be like 50, 55 later today. I'm going to rip everything back out of it again, all of it, and uh, restain or stain my wood and all that stuff and put it all back together. Might even modify it. I was thinking I made it for a twin to fit a twin at 39 inches. This little mattress here's. <laughs> the heater said, Thank you for using me. I wish you a safe journey. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for using me. <laughs> okay. 
Chinese, Chinese people, man. <laughs> we, we're still working on the lingo, apparently. <laughs> well, we all packed up and ready. That was the about the fastest camp pack up I've ever done. Like five minutes tops. <laughs> That's nice. This is what all you camper people live like, huh? Uh-huh, I see. I see how it is. <laughs> that camper stuff's nice. You don't have to tear your tent down, do you? <laughs> we'll have to work on getting me a big camper someday. Here's where we're going. Walmart pickup area. I'm gonna park where the sun ain't right in my face. Okay, that helped a little bit, but not much. It's still in my face. <laughs> well, all right, guys. I appreciate y'all coming along, and I hope you enjoyed our little Walmart camping trip. <laughs> Why not, right? Why not? Uh, anyway, guys, thank y'all for coming along. Uh, appreciate you. Hope you enjoyed a little bit of it. Hope we entertained you just a little bit anyway. And, uh, you know, hey, get out, go camping, go to Walmart, go, go do a camping trip at Walmart, y'all. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see y'all next time. Y'all have a really good day, and we'll see y'all a little bit later. Leo out at Walmart. <laughs>